Hello everyone. I uh, hope you're enjoying our 12 days of Christmas giveaways. Of course, we're up to, uh, I just added another game today. So we're into the bonus days now. I just gave away Conquest of the Pacific and a Barbarossa game, uh, an old um, pre-Axis and Allies kind of style game to Mr. Jay Sorrell. So he won today, day 13. So um, I've got uh, three more right now. Of course, I did add one today, so who knows? Uh, I might look through all my all my extra games I have and uh, pull out some more. So I have an, uh, the next one for tomorrow is Axis and Allies Revives. I have a sealed copy. To me, it's one of the better games. I think I like Anniversary better, uh, but Revised is a little shorter, and it's, I think it's balanced. I like it, uh, but uh, I do have a sealed copy for tomorrow. We have uh, a and Arnhem uh, by um, Cadet Games. I have that one sealed. And then day 16, I have a game called Age of Napoleon. It's um, miniatures, uh, plastic, um, big map, big board, big game. I have a box for it. Um, the one you see in the picture, uh, which is in the, the thumbnail, uh, I, I pulled it off my, my rack up there, but I have, uh, I actually had three of them. How I got three, I don't know. I, I might've been in a buying craze at one time, but I'll send the sealed copy. I do have, it's, it's mostly sealed. Some of the plastic shrink wrap is um, coming off, but um, that way it's not been open, but I have two other ones. One, of course, one I'm keeping on the other one. Uh, one of my designers probably will like, hey, I want one. <laughs> so I'm, I try to take care of my designers. Uh, I've sent them all some, some items, so um, we'll, we'll see on that. But um, I hope uh, everyone is enjoying it. It's all, it's all luck. I do a random generator on my phone. Got the list of everyone who bought, uh, purchased in 2023. It doesn't matter how many times you bought. Uh, you could have bought, a, I know, I know, you could have bought a hundred times this year and your chances are the same as a person who bought one. But uh, as long as they bought in 2023, they're eligible. Uh, I've sent some out. I've listed the names of the winners and I'll post again today. Um, after the video, of course, it'll be in the description as well. So if you're not part of this channel, I know some people say, oh, I'm going to have to start subscribing to your channel. I said, yes, we give stuff away. Right now we're doing the Battle of the Bulge giveaway. Um, you know, put bulge, battle the bulge, something in the comments, and you get 10 3D printed items. Uh, that little <coughs> German converted M10 that they took a Panther and put some sheet metal on it and made some other little revisions to make it look like a, an American tank is pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen the movie or uh, read up on it, you know, they got some English speaking Germans and trying to make it look like. Uh, you know, they're Americans trying to infiltrate the lines or penetrate, uh, the, you know, Hitler, you know, if, you know, there's games called Hitler's Last Gamble, you know, uh, Hitler, The Last Push, the, oh, I think there's, well, there are dens. So anyway, Battle of the Bulge, uh, pretty neat, uh, pretty neat giveaway. And that's going to wrap up our giveaways probably for the end of the year. I was actually trying to do, you know, the Space, um, Space Force actually has a birthday uh, their birthday is then towards the end of the year and I was trying to do something there, but I'm just running out of time uh, We're trying to do so many things here. I've got more videos for some other things that we're doing behind the scenes and uh, we'll, You know, I want to show you a few things that we've done. So um, we have um, We have a uh, Civil War game that an imperious leader Who's had it? Oh man, 12 13 years He's given it to uh, HBG to get it on the website. So we've got 3D pieces. And these 3D pieces, I've done a, I've done a lot of research. You know how HBG is. I'm very, um, I want everything historical. Artillery pieces, you know, whether it's uh, a Napoleon, uh, Napoleon gun or, or it's any of the other. Uh, I'm, the problem I'm having right now, there's so many stinking uh, types of artillery. So um, I'm trying to get the correct ones that, you know, we're gonna use in the game. Uh, the ships that we have are really nice, nice detail. They don't just look like a generic uh, ship. So we have um, good looking gunboats and ironclads and things like that. And our soldiers, very good, uh, top of the line. And we'll be doing them uh, in a gray, 
uh, for the Confederates, of course, and a blue for the Union. Uh, if anyone's bought our finished set, we're going to do them in that blue. And we, we got them doing them like in a snow, um, a gray. Looks looks good. So I'll, I'll try to post some pictures. Uh, yeah, it'll be a week before. I've, I've got some pieces printed, but I just got them our generic gray. So I, I want to print some in the, some colors and show you guys. So we have the map, and it's got, you know, set up charts and everything. It's been played, played tested for... Uh, well, like I said, 12, 15 years, so uh, it'll be a good game. And then we also have um, Johnny Galvez's uh, Rome game, and he's got a couple more that have to do with that time period. And we'll have some uh, 3D printed items for those too, also in the colors. Uh, and I'll show you some of those that we've done. A couple really nice looking ships. Uh, of course, you know, cavalry and Roman soldiers and generals, and catapults and things like that. So <clears throat> look for that. Uh, we're trying to get it in a nice little box, same with the Civil War game. And uh, that way you can buy it as you know, one big bundle, you know, in 3D printed, in colors. And uh, that way for people who don't want to paint, it's already ready to go. So, well, you know, we're constantly, I added three 3D printed items yesterday. You know, we've added build plates and decals, um, stickers, I'm constantly adding things. Look at our sale if you're looking for paint, uh, books. Uh, we discounted our books. Well, one time I was going to carry books, and uh, I'm like, no, nah, we're not going to do it. Just don't sell enough of them. So there's some really nice books, painting guides or whatever. So check it out. Subscribe to our channel. Uh, good luck. Like I said, tomorrow we're pulling for a a Revised. And, then number, and I'll post it in the description. That way you can see what's going on. And like I said, I'll look around my room. You know, it's getting kind of thin. <laughs> I've, got, I've got games I want to keep myself. Don't know when I'm going to play them. <laughs> but some of the designers said, I'm going to fly to Tulsa and we're going to play some games. Because all you do is work and design and work on things. I'm like, oh, I know. I'm, I'm terrible. Even when I went to those last convention last August, my whole my idea was to was to play, and uh, I ended up just rubbing elbows with everyone, talking to everyone, which is which was good because I don't hardly get to do that either. So I enjoyed that. So we'll see. Um, my wife won't play a game with me, so <laughs> that's out. Uh, but uh, anyway, enjoy, and uh, I'm sure I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Thanks, guys.